It's day five and it is a very exciting day because today is the first day that we're actually doing a show. WSU Pullman campus here in uh, Pullman, Washington. We have all day to hang out before the show actually starts though. So we thought, why not start by going to visit some gigantic grizzly bears? I don't know if we want to get all depressing in this vlog, but I get really sad when I see animals in captivity. I know they're researching them. I'm not going to slag whatever they're doing here. It's worthwhile, I imagine, but this bear should be grabbing some salmon out of the river right now. You know what I mean? It's so crazy that we can stand here so confidently, and if these cages weren't here right now, I would be shitting my pants. Can you hear that? No. Was it a bear? No, it was with the noise that they're making. Oh, no, I don't hear what they make. What's it sound like? Like a big giant cat kind of purring. Really? I don't hear it. I'm going to turn them up, see if I can hear it. No, I don't hear the purring. You hear it, Justin? Yeah. What's he doing? Is he pissing? Does he pee? Imagine if he had explosive diarrhea. <laughs> Sometimes I think, not to get all hippy-dippy on you, but you ever feel like you can, like, send messages? Even though we don't speak the language, maybe if I'm, like, saying, hey, I'm here, I love you, we're on the same level here. Maybe he's receiving that. I know it sounds really wishy-washy, but it's a nice thought. I can't judge captivity of animals with how much bacon I eat, you know? Be hypocritical. And I know bacon's not made from bears. I need to make that clear. <laughs> bacon. <laughs> Maybe I should try going vegetarian for a little bit. I don't know if I should say this on camera because then I gotta do it. Would you do it with me, Justin? Yeah? Yeah. You wanna try to go vegetarian? For the tour? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah? Yeah. For real? Vegetarian. Rest of the tour. Okay, deal. Should we go get some ice cream? You're damn right we should go get some ice cream. I'm allergic, so uh, it might get a little uh, toxic on the RV after this ice cream. Let's go. Ice cream time. Honestly, we should let the people know here how much I love ice cream, but in recent years so I don't want to get too graphic, but it doesn't agree with me too much, but that doesn't stop me from eating it So uh, let's see what happens. I'll get two scoop and can I get different flavors? Yeah, I'll get one scoop of the tin Lizzie. I'll do the huckleberry too. Yeah One time I was in Boston and there was a snowstorm like a big one and I had a hankering for ice cream So I got some and I was walking down the street just eating a waffle cone blizzard like everybody's all bundled up just looking at me like what is this maniac doing just walking through a blizzard <laughs> beautiful day out huh i'm lactose intolerant i've never had a doctor tell me that but you don't need a doctor to tell you when you've seen the evidence i've seen my name is dj how's everyone doing tonight how you feeling everyone good i want to see how comfy these chairs are here for a second mind if i sit beside you dude Nice. Oh. oh, I get it now. What's your name? Timmy. Sorry? Timmy. Timmy? Timmy. Not Tim. You go by Timmy? Nice, man. When do you think you'll drop the Timmy and just go by Tim? I have Jill here. She's got the uh, Roger pen. So she can hold that right up to your mouth if you're in the back and you have a question. Where in Canada am I from? This thing is amazing. You were speaking so quietly that far. My God, I can spy on people with this thing, man. That's great. Hey, who farted over there? Um, I'm from Toronto. Uh, Toronto. Well, I'm originally from a city called Kitner, but I lived in Toronto for eight years before I moved to America. So, big Drake fan here. You gotta be if you're from Toronto. We got a youngin in here. Has he been here the whole time when I was talking about your sensitive nipples? Yeah, what's up, buddy? You're deaf? Yeah. Oh, cool, man. Like hard of hearing or deaf? You wear hearing aids? Yes. Oh, man, that's awesome. You got hearing aids in both ears? No. Just one? But my little sister does. Your little sister has hearing aids in both ears? And my brother has a, a hearing aid in his left ear. Your brother has a hearing aid in his left ear? Wow, the whole, and is that your whole family? A sister and two brothers? And my dad. And your dad, does he wear hearing aids? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, wow, the whole, that must be a loud household. <laughs> Everyone yelling at each other? <laughs> You started clapping. Do you want me to get off? No, no. You trying to leave the clap right no, now? No, you are very good, though. Pardon me? You are good. 
I'm good. Thanks, man. I like that, that we're cool even after how much I've been talking about your sensitive nipples. <laughs> thank you very much, everybody. Thank you so much for coming out. Take care of your nipples. And uh, thank you, guys. Have a good night. Ooh, you got a cool looking mold there. And, um, yeah, I nice. gave customized mold. Huh? Um, I just have a standard. Oh, my yeah. dad doesn't look like that. No, what's your dad's look like? I think it like sticks in his ear or something. Uh, yeah, I like all animals. animals. Yeah? Yeah, I love animals too. We went to see the bears today. They were huge. So big. There were cubs and they were full grown mamas and papas. And they were all laying together. It was adorable. They were, and they stood up on their hind legs. Did you get your tonsils out? Yeah, I got my You got yours out too? Yes, yeah, so Wow, we have a lot in common. I'm three years old. Huh. I got my tonsils out. Cool. Nice, man. Great to meet I'm you, Ethan. <laughs> name? I'm Colby. Colby, nice, nice to meet you, man. DJ. You want one too? Let's do it. You didn't want to be together in the same photo. No. No, no. It's a secret friendship. Great to meet you, man. Thanks for coming out, guys. Yeah, it was a good cool. show. I'm glad you liked it. Thanks for being such good sports in the front row. <laughs> Pretty big green room. It's the end of the day, end of day five? Day five, Justin? And the first show. And it was amazing. It was a fun show here at Wazoo. And now we fly to San Francisco State University in the morning. Before we go, though, I want to say Justin and I said we're going to be vegetarian. He's sticking to vegetarian. I'm doing pescetarian. I got to eat meat. I mean, I got to eat fish. I can't not eat anything. Let's not dive into it too hardcore here. Pescetarian, but I'm serious about that. Also, I should never eat ice cream again. That was a mistake, a delicious mistake. See you tomorrow.